This is not a synod. A synod is God's people walking together, doing God's ministry in the world. We walk together at Holy Trinity because everyone is a friend. Everyone supports the other parishioners. We walk together at Fortune Lake uh, through, through prayer and leaning on one another. Young people from across the Synod get a greater sense of there are other people like them. Um, it's not just them and their congregation. We walk together because we answer God's call and we follow Jesus' example. Share with one another and help one another at, with the problems we may have or joys we may have or experiences we have. The Synod is the church walking together. The Synod is congregations coming together, walking shoulder to shoulder, not only in a territory, but walking with outdoor ministries and campus ministries, walking together with their companion synod in Tanzania. The synod is the people of God, baptized, bearing the mark of cross of Christ on their forehead, engaged together in proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ near and far. The word synod means walking together. And Lutherans across the upper peninsula of Michigan and northeastern Wisconsin have been walking together since the time of the American Civil War. Today we are 85 congregations strong with more than 130 pastors living across parts of two states in two time zones. We walk together to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. As we walk, we lift up the lost and lonely with the power of God's salvation. As congregations, we share the Christian faith, serving human need and worshiping God together. As a synod, we help congregations to carry out this mission by providing and supporting pastors, sponsoring ministries, and providing programs, doing together what we cannot do as individual congregations. We carry out our mission to go therefore and make disciples of all nations. As part of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America and a member of the Lutheran World Communion, we share the gospel message around the globe. The Synod has created resources and programs to achieve these goals. Let us share the role of the Synod with you now as we outline how the people of the Synod walk together. Through ordinations and installations, we guide dedicated Christian men and women to their callings where they can serve God and God's people. The Synod helps us walk together with our pastor. They're the ones that review the candidates that are willing to become pastors or want a different church or just fresh out of seminary. Having the, the direction from the Synod and through the Bishop, um, it definitely provides you know, some needed structure. They do so much to help us and they, they want very much to put the right pastor with the right church. There are 65 Synods in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. In many ways, the Northern Great Lakes Synod, like the other Synods, is entrusted to develop our rostered leaders and our congregations into centers of mission. Through the Candidacy Committee, our Synod helps to find, energize, and with the seminaries, to equip men and women to serve as pastors and associates in ministry. Our Synod walks with the seminaries of the church, and together we prepare men and women for service to God's people. The bishop ordains on behalf of the whole church, a tremendous amount of work is done with these called leaders before hands are laid on them. The Synod played it, you know, it was huge in getting me here for the call process. I think uh, the bishop did a great job of kind of matching me up with the church. and It's a real good fit for me. And that's, that's all the Synod's work, you know, yep. you know and finding the best matches for what will work for both of us in ministry. Ongoing continuing education for pastors and associates in ministry ensure that the teachings of the church will be shared with all of God's people. Pastors are provided with a number of opportunities to learn how to best share the Word of God and to keep up with the changes within the church. The Synod helps us walk together by keeping us abreast of what's happening in other places in the Synod. Gatherings like the Professional Leaders event give pastors the opportunity to meet and share ideas with church leaders like the presiding bishop, Mark Hansen. It also gives them time to discuss their ministries 
with other pastors from across the Synod. How we can share with one another and help one another at, with the problems we may have or learn what's going on across all of Synod. Additionally, the Synod office provides information every month to assist congregations. They do a good job of keeping, keeping me updated on what's going on in the rest of the Synod with the newsletter. It kind of keeps us all as one church body because um, that's really what we are. Education of future church and worship leaders is crucial in keeping the church strong in the future. Our Synod Lay School for Mission meets at five locations in our congregations across our Synod area. Fifty students in total study the scriptures, the Lutheran tradition, and Christian theology. In the last 20 years, more than 200 people have graduated from our Synod's Lay School. Participants bring new understanding back to their parishes and share their experiences. We baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit with water and the Word. God's call to us is to go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And we do that by guiding, facilitating, and funding God's ministries in the world. Youth ministry is a vital part of the church's future. Instilling the passion for serving Christ into our young people secures our path to everlasting faith. He lifts me up, I get down. He lifts me up, I get down. Events like Marked target the youth of the church. Marked events, which we've been doing for four years now in the Synod, we hope that um, young people from across the Synod get a greater sense of there are other people like them. Um, it's not just them and their congregations that are going to confirmation class. And to have some fun and learn about God. Leadership School in the summer builds our church by providing support for high school students. Junior high retreats and adult training are also part of our youth ministry, our walking together. Young people learn that loving Jesus and his people can be fun. It's our an opportunity for um, young people, confirmation age around the city, to come together, meet each other, and um, learn a little bit about what it means to be a synod, um, who the bishop is, and what it means to be a confirmation student who can live out their faith in their everyday life. We walk together with our companion synod, the people of the Eastern and Coastal Diocese of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Tanzania. For 20 years, we have been walking together with this fast-growing African church. We are supporting their work by helping to build a Lutheran high school in Tanzania, by providing scholarships for high school and college students there, and through our companion congregation program, walking with our friends in Tanzania as Christian brothers and sisters. We have much we can learn from the Tanzanians, especially their openness to share the story of Jesus. Compassion makes our hunger committee's work rewarding. Through the World Hunger Program, um, we provide um, a large amount of percentage of our income, 20% each year, uh, to support the ministries of, of not only the Synod, but the church-wide organization, um, which gives us um, an idea of ministry beyond us. Synod members help to promote the work of the ELCA Hunger Appeal and participate in the ministry of feeding God's people in the name of Christ. We make a difference together. Our Northern Great Lakes Synod also walks with our congregations as they seek renewal. Through our transformational ministry, congregations go back to the basics, learning anew the need for prayer, worship, scripture study, and generosity. Home meetings in which small groups will get together to talk about the, the ministry process, again, of being God in uh, being representatives of God in community. We'll have conversation with, with local leaders, uh, asking them how a congregation of our makeup can serve the, the community. Again and again, as congregations and as individuals, we are called by Jesus Christ to be born again, to be renewed in our baptismal promises, and then to be sent into the world. Financially supporting all of these ministries calls us to give generously. The Synod Stewardship Committee stands ready to assist any congregation expand its financial base. 
Every congregation needs both an annual stewardship appeal and a year-round stewardship program. The Synod provides materials and assistance to congregations. Our Synod had the foresight 20 years ago to develop an endowment fund, which now grants dollars to support some of our work together. We call upon and work with a variety of partners to carry on God's work, from youth to the elderly, to those who are looking to carry Christ with them. Fortune Lake and the Northern Great Lakes Synod work together to provide those things uh, that are helpful uh, for congregational and congregational life. High schoolers, youth and adult, those with special needs, they all gain a unique insight into how God provides faith and provides for life and understanding through nature. Lutherans here in our synod also are heirs of a church college, Finlandia University, founded in 1896 as Sumi College. Several generations of Lutherans have studied there, including future pastors at Sumi's Theological Seminary. On public university campuses, Campus pastors, supported by our synod, work with college students. The Church of Christ walks together with our universities through these Lutheran campus ministries. Since the early part of the 20th century, congregations in our synod have supported Luther Home and now Northland Lutheran Retirement Community in Marinette, Wisconsin, as home for many of the seniors in our midst. Lutheran Social Services of Wisconsin and Upper Michigan walks with God's people in several of our Wisconsin and Michigan communities in ministries of adoption, counseling, and housing. God is at work in our walking together. The Synodical Women's Organization builds relationships between churches in our synod. The women of the church gather to be renewed with God's word. Stretching across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Northeastern Wisconsin, Congregations are organized into eight conferences for mutual support and mission planning. From these conferences, a synod council is elected to govern our life together. Each year, the synod gathers in assembly to review our work and to plan for the coming year. A bishop or pastor of the synod is elected along with synod officers and other persons who are called to carry out our walk together. So we walk together, we are a synod, energized by Jesus Christ, eager to serve God's people. We are the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Walking together with our Christian friends and other religious traditions amongst the lakes and forests of the Upper Peninsula and Northeastern Wisconsin, we walk together. We are a church, we are a synod. <laughs>